So the testing server for the coming fall update has just been released. I personally love it and hate it at the same time. I agree with some nerfs and buffs, while I disagree with others. So in this video, I'll be walking through everything that's been added, nerfed, and buffed for this new coming fall update. Let's all start with the newest reskins and weapons. Coming up number one, the Spooky Staff. The Spooky Staff is the reskin of the Hoss Hog weapon. Don't worry guys, we still got a few other weapons. While we're at the Hoss Hog weapon, we might as well go over its nerf of Self Burn. The Self Burn nerf will only occur once the user rocket jumps. A rocket jump with the Hoss Hog will result in a loss of 10 health, plus a burn of 10. Overall, losing a health of 20 health. I personally completely disagree with this nerf as many non lunch sword user mains, such as myself, use this weapon to get from point A to point B really fast. This makes it very close to lunge's mobility. Overall, nerfing this weapon means nerfing all non lunge sword mobility, meaning players will have to switch to a different rocket and we're just basically nerfing all non lunge swords, meaning putting lunge once again at the top ability. Moving on to the next weapon, Glowblade. The Glowblade is a reskin of the default sword. I think the sword is a limited time only due to the symbol being right beside the sword. The new Pumpkin Super Ball is a reskin of the default Super Ball skin. The Pumpkin skin acts exactly like the default Super Ball, same damage, speed, and etc. Let's move on to our next expected weapon, the Bow. The Bow was talked about in our Fall Update leak video. As we could tell, the reload time would be 3 seconds, and we were right! It works somewhat similar to the shur shuriken. For example, when not charged, it'll hit 20 damage, and when charged, it'll hit 45 damage. Unfortunately, since it's high reload time and low damage, shuriken may still be better. Super balls could also still be better if we were to spam it and have the aim. The arrows also do not deliver a stun to the enemy. Next up, we got the lava ball. The lava ball is the polar opposite of the snowball. Though, instead of freezing the enemy, it'll set the enemy on fire. There's also one more reskin of the lava ball called the jack-o'-lantern. Alright, that covers up all the new weapons, but now for the nerfs that I'm gonna criticize on. Alright, probably the saddest nerf for me is the remote detonator's nerf. The remote detonator's arm time, also known as the charge time of the remote, has been nerfed from 0.4 seconds to, I think, I'm not 100% sure, to 0.8 seconds. We'll now have to readapt to mid-air bomb jumps and, of course, kills. The knockback of the remote bomb has also been completely taken away. I was at least expecting a small nerf of maybe halving the knockback. You may also take this as a buff, but also as a nerf as I just mentioned. It could be a buff in your eyes because of your enemy no longer flying away, meaning they're in range to be comboed by a shadow blade lunge or a shuriken or basically other weapons. The next nerf we have is the Shadow Shuriken Charge Reload Time. When the Shuriken isn't charged, the reload time stays the same, which is 1.4 seconds, but when it's charged, it's almost double, which is 2.8 seconds. I really feel this is unfair, and this exact same nerf should be implemented to the Coconut, as Shuriken and Coconut are the polar opposites of each other. The next nerf we've got coming up is the Star Blaster's Arc. The Star Blaster now has a, sim has a smaller arc, but has more speed to it. The Dark Hearts Lifesteal has also been nerfed as it doesn't give HP upon slash anymore, only lunge. Its reload time for lunge has also been nerfed to 4 seconds. Again, since I do not own this sword, I'm going off of Danker's words. The Vox Calibur's lunge was also nerfed, but its jump ability was buffed. Trampoline's reload time was nerfed, but I'm not 100% sure what the previous cooldown is right now, but I think it was nerfed to 6 seconds. Bloomerang was also nerfed by reload time, again not 100% sure what its previous reload time was and what it is right now. Overall, Vox Calibur, Trampoline, and Bloomerang are all being nerfed, basically meaning air vox and air stalling is almost impossible and or very hard to do right now. Shadow's Dragon's rocket jump has been nerfed to the stocks. I personally hate this because I think it's just fine, it already has a high reload time. The whole point of the shadow set is high reload time, better payoff. Slingshot's arc went oof, making it almost impossible to aim with. I mean, we'll eventually adapt to it, but as of right now, it's almost impossible to aim with. 
The final nerf that I found was the Shadow Clones nerf. Now, there's this nerf and sort of buff, I, I guess you could say. The nerf consists of a break like 0.5 seconds when pulled out, overall making void saves harder. The bricks needed for Shadow Clone is now 10 blocks. Previously, it was 15. Also, a new feature if is added if the Shadow Clone, like the clone itself, is attacked using a sword, the clone will explode and inflict the exact same damage that the, the user attacked the clone with um, to the attacker. For example, if a lunge, a lunge was implemented at the clone, it would deal 35 damage to the attacker instead of the person. Now, I only found two buffs so far. So the first one is Laser's Cannon's Crash Rocket Jump now has a better rocket jump, and the other one is Great Sword's Walk Speed. Well, I guess you could say the walk speed debuff went up from negative 25% to negative 20%. It also has a 25% resistance to ragdoll. There's also this new feature of being able to deal damage to each other when both people are using a special move. Before, when one person would lunge and another would lunge back or, or great spin, the person who lunged or great spin second, their move wouldn't inflict any damage. But now, whatever this bug or glitch or feature is, has been patched and added, so both players will inflict damage upon both of them, like both lunges colliding, for example. Another new feature is upon bomb jump, you get this cool trail behind you. I'm sure there's also been tons of bug fixes, but I'm not 100% sure what they fixed and they didn't, because as of right now, the logbooks haven't been released. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing for more epic content. Anyways guys, bye for now, see you later.